Hey guys, I'm here with another truffle box tutorial and this topic is gonna be truffle and webpack. So for those of you who don't know, webpack is, I'll pull up the Wikipedia page, a open choice an open source JavaScript module bundler. So generally when you code in JavaScript or in a lot of languages in general, there'll be a lot of dependencies. Um, JavaScript are called modules and it will bundle the dependencies together. It says generating some static assets representing those modules. Um, and the Wikipedia page even say, usually there's a webpack.config.js file um, similar to this one right here. And this is the one that in today's tutorial. So this is the main Webpack website where you can download it or get started with it. And there's some documentation which mentions that same Webpack config.js file. So I'll link those in, in the description. Um, so like usual for Truffle, you have to have Truffle installed. So I'll do this alternative thing um, and do Truffle Unbox. And that's pretty much doing a git clone and some sort of npm command to get the dependencies. Um, so I've already done that since sometimes that can take quite a long time. So I ran Truffle Unbox Webpack. Did all this stuff. Um, and I got to unbox successful. And now I'm gonna run the next step truffle develop. And that will open our local testing Ethereum network, which will give you 10 Ethereum accounts of both private and public key, and they'll each have 100 Ethereum each. It's all test Ethereum though. Um, next, this isn't in the tutorial directly, um, but it does help um, to, I feel like it just wasn't added when it probably should have been. Um, but I'm going to use MetaMask, and I have a video on MetaMask, I'll link that in the description. This is a plugin, um, which I also link. But it's pretty much an Ethereum wallet, or a Bitcoin or other coin wallet. I already have it installed. If you want to have more, know more details on how to get set up, link go to my um, video in the description. But this is what it looks like. Um, I have an Ethereum account, I haven't put any money into this, so just zero. Um, and what I'm going to do is... I'm going to connect to our local test network that we just created. And so as a reminder, I did a truffle develop and it started a network on localhost 8545 and gave me these 10 accounts. Um, I'm going to take the first account. So these are the public keys, these are the private keys. I'll take this really long private key. Um, oh wait, actually, I'm not doing that part yet. I'm taking the URL put it um, here, I'll just name it Gant, because um, that's what the test network is called, and you can use chain ID sometimes, so it's usually 1337 for the test network. Alright, so I have my Gant network that I'm connected to, um, close that, and then I want to import one of the accounts that in my test environment, so you need the private key, so I'll copy that, and then I'll paste it import it and now I have this account which is a 100 ethereum okay going back to our tutorial so we're going to compile the code the code specifically is a solidity code um, that's the whole point of why we're using truffle um, which is in contracts and just metacoin.sol and if you look at the comments it says it's a coin like contract it's not standard it's compilable if you want to make one you can go to github consensus tokens um, but the most important thing here is a send coin, which will let you send um, Ethereum from one account to another. Um, yeah, so we're we're gonna compile that. So you can do compile. Um, just gonna open a new tab for a second. So let's compile the contracts. We had um, the three convert lib, Bitcoin decimal, and migrations. Um, and we're gonna migrate. Migration will actually put the contracts on the test network. The migration commands come from these migration JavaScript files, which just say, hey, pretty much migrate the three contracts we have. Okay, so that happens, it costs this much. So that these three contracts are deployed. Convert lib, metacoin. Um I don't see the migrations on, but anyway. So maybe, so, yeah, whatever. Um, so I migrated, and now we can start the web app. 
So I opened the new tab because this is a Truffle develop environment. Um, and I don't want to be in that right now. I want to go to my normal terminal, go to the app folder, which is um, this folder right here. It has our JavaScript code. Close this and this. And then it said npm run dev, I believe. Yeah. And this is where it says in another terminal. npm run dev. And then it'll, get, it'll start our web app at this IP address, localhost 80AO. Okay. Um, so right now it says we have zero meta, and so I'm not exactly sure I get this right the first time. Um, but you actually want this to be connected to your um, the MetaMask account that we just loaded before. So I'm just gonna do this. It says you're currently connected. I'm gonna say connect here. And now I'm connected with this account, which has lost some ether. Um, the reason why I like before we had a balance of 100 and now we have like 99 point something is because we did the migrates. So if I bet, if I go back to the migration, it said it costs um, 0 0.0109 and yeah, that's about the amount here, more or less, I think. I don't, I don't think the compile also costs, but whatever. So we lost, the point is we lost some ether. Um, so now we're connected, so I'm just going to refresh this, and now you see we have 10,000 meta, which is, it's rounded, but it's the amount that in our account. Um, so let's just take a quick look at some of this code. So it's, this is a Webpack tutorial. So this is a Webpack file. Pretty much you have the Webpack plugin, and you're referencing the other files. So the other files for your web app are your um, index.html, which is um, just loading this page over here. And then it has this index.js, which has some Web3 stuff, um, which is how, how you have to connect to the Ethereum network. So it loads Web3. Um, it loads our MetaCoin contract, um, which this contract. Um, and then it has a send coin JavaScript function, but this send coin also calls the this.meta methods, which pretty much it'll end up calling this send coin method in, in the Solidity contract. So it'll be able to execute a transfer. Um, yeah, so index.js, um, we're in development mode. I know we were using the Webpack plugin with the index.html page. Um, it's pretty, not a lot of code, which makes it nice and small. So this is a good tutorial to just get some of your basics uh, web app stuff going. Um, but let's, okay, let's just use this. So I'm gonna send like, let's say 1337 meta, and I'm gonna send it to another one of my accounts. So let's just use a second one. Uh, actually, I think it's not the private key, it's the public one. So we'll use the second one, um, send. And then now you see MetaMask opens up, and now um, we can use it. It will cost um, some gas, confirm. Um, actually, I think I saw an error. So initiating transaction. Developer tools. Four four error. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's just see what the activity says. Syncoin failed. So this is like what I had working before. I did this earlier, and this had a failure over here. Um, I don't know why I can't send that amount. Uh, let's just try a smaller amount, like 10. Um, still getting an error. And then let's try a private key, which I kind of doubt. Okay, that's just being really slow. Let's try sending it to this next account. Let's try refreshing. One. Okay, 
Anyway, sorry about that. So it's not working for some strange reason. It was working earlier, so maybe I messed up some of the configurations, but that's pretty much it. Um, that's how you basically set up the meta coin um, with MetaMask and you can run it. So have a great day, guys, and bye.